I'm going to do a somewhat of a playthrough series with this. I don't know if I'm going to just try to do it solo. I may eventually co-op with my friend. We both recently got the game, and he just made a video over on his YouTube channel, uh, Grim Jakuri. Now, I did a review of this game a few months ago. I played it on Xbox. Today, I'm playing it on PC, but I am using an Xbox controller because it's easier. For the most part. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it. I did say that it is basically a... Uh, <laughs> a Dark Souls clone. Which it is. I mean, there's there's no getting around that. It's heavily inspired by Dark Souls, which is fine. Dark Souls has a it has a very very good formula. That's why Demon Souls, Dark Souls one, two, and three, Bloodborne. That's why they are all very very popular. Uh, Elden Ring, very anticipated. I cannot wait. And uh, my friend Grim J. Curry over on his channel. I don't think he's done a video on it yet, but he's going to. It's called Mortal Shell, a game called Mortal Shell. It's also heavily inspired by Dark Souls. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. It is a good game. Very fun. I love the, the artistic style in it. I'm hoping for a sequel. Among the stars, the ashen flies. Beneath, the nine realms move among the tree of worlds' many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great ashen flew down to rest upon her boughs that the light woke among the realms. After eons, the great ashen grew weak with age and fell from the Tree of Worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age saw three creatures of the Dark Plains rise above all others. The Elder Dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the Listener Matriarchs, Titans who revered the light. The third breath was the Age of Man. Geffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that black age, the cities of man fell into ruin, toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. It's also got a unique story. So while the gameplay is very similar to that of Dark Souls... From dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance... The story is different. Soon, the Ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body, and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. The 
Ashen is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains. All right. And as I said in my other video, I mean, if you can play Dark Souls, if you understand the control scheme, it's nearly identical. Now in Dark Souls, you have to sprint with B and then like tap B to jump. This, you just have to run over and hit Y while sprinting. But there's other aspects of this game that are very familiar to the Dark Souls experience. Uh, I forget what they're called, but there are basically souls that you collect if you die. If you have to get them back without dying again. There is an interesting mechanic uh, eventually you unlock a spear that you can... Huh, sorry, put out your fire. That you can uh, throw at those little red glowing statues and it'll teleport you to them. That's something that Dark Souls did not have. They didn't have any quick or mysterious way of traveling around the map like that. Which is fine. Is this your fault? It is. There are those that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the Ashen and protect it from the Elder Dark. Yokel. You alright? Fell a little ways. This water doesn't seem too deep. I don't think that would have cushioned our fall. Um, at all. Okay, Joe, bye. Uh, and like Dark Souls, I mean, you gotta, you gotta look everywhere. This is a walk every inch of the map looking for objects, items. Come on, Yoko. What a sight. Hey. Our world once more here? bathed in ashen light. You have felt the power of the ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The ashen is still a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin you. our journey, we must find you. Dang, you tall boy. Alright. So Yoko's already running off. I guess he's just doing what he do. Bartaran's hammer and spark. Most likely the vagrants have them. They're thieves and scavengers. They'll steal anything that's not chained down.
Ooh, what's down here? Some ominous sounding sounds. We'll come back and do that side. We'll come back and do that side of the river after we do this. Ah! Stanimal based. Just like those ones. Um. Unlike a lot of games, you can just walk off of a cliff. Which is no way now. Can't activate that yet. Oh, hey. It's kind of nice having an AI companion that actually fights and can do damage. A lot of games you get an AI companion and all you get to really use them as is cannon fire. I assume that's how it's pronounced. I don't think I'm ever going to hear it actually pronounced. Scoria. Okay. So in this game, the equivalent of souls is Scoria. Oh, it wants me to open my map. Okay. What's in here? Like that. Oh! Where'd you come from, man? Goodness. I guess you were probably up here, huh? Okay, just come down here. I don't have time for you. Okay. More guys. More of the 
back that way. Why did he? I'm so confused. Okay, I'll drop down here, drop down here, drop down here. Get this guy all up in here. Hey guys. I'm sure Yokel's got it. So va here. Haha, you missed. guy right here. Okay, that's annoying. I got a feather. Ah, Yoko, you didn't have to come down here. Now we're going up. We could have just stayed up there, man. You know. That guy. Okay. Hey, buddy. Thing this does the Dark Souls doesn't. While, I mean, in a way, you uh, you can kind of upgrade your Firelink Shrine, but not in the extent that this Give lets you upgrade your own base. So I might awaken this sleeping stone. What happens if I keep hammer? Touch the spark to the ritual stone. Bonfires, you know. So we lit up a stone, and now I have founded a town. I dig it. I have searched these foothills. Geffen can be found bathing within the annex of light. Bridge the waters and strike out for the cliffs. There lies your way in. Okay. What do you got to say, Yoko? Do you dream? In my sleep, I hear my brother's voice. He once traveled this way with my father. Oh, I wasn't continue. with them. Ahu was eldest, so it was his duty alone. Now he echoes through my slumber, calling to me. Each time is the same. He stands atop an old listener ruin, calling to me. I have found the ruin by the lakeside. Will you help me climb it? Absolutely. You know what? Yoko, since you're such a good NPC, I will help you climb a rock. It's the least I can do. Is it this way? You did not know I was here. I don't know, 
Yoko. You're making me rethink helping you if you're not here helping me. Oh. Probably have a better weapon. I don't want to equip a shield. happy. I guess we'll do it. Oh. Yeah, let's test this on you, buddy. Oh, hey. No one asked you. Buddy, I need you. Buddy. Yoko. Where are you? Ow! Yoko, you've let me down. Die. I'm too young. If I sit at that stone. Will it reset the enemies? I don't know. I don't have to sit at it, it just automatically healed me. Okay. Yoko bailed. Hey. Do you mind? Oh, hey. Why'd I pick up your brother's box? You have a cigar. I want a cigar. I don't have a mouth, so I don't know how I'll smoke it, but... Oh my 
goodness, I'm going to need health. Hey, Yoko, can you handle this guy? And I'll handle her. Or I'll, uh, I'll not, I'll not handle her. I forgot they could use a spear as something other than throwing. That's on me. That's my bad. Nothing to do with bait and breakfast. Especially in there. Oh! Dick! Ow! I need to level up, yeah? It's over here. Aren't you following me? The darkness has taken so many. Please, may I have Ahu's lockbox? So, you picked it up yourself. This is all that remains of my brother's life a crimson gourd and a crumbling map. The map may lead me to my father. The crimson gourd, I give to you. Touch the spark to the ritual stone, and the crimson sap will flow. The crimson sap. If you find me the right materials, I can fortify your gourd at my work table. A fort. Okay, so the crimson gourd is uh, the Estes flask. Okay. All right. Need more monies. Do you have more money? Bataran, I saw a woman who matched Force's description near Placid Stream. Maybe for Bataran's sake, we should try to track her down. I don't remember anything about a Force. It's been a long time since I could call any place my home. So why are you working on Yokel's shop? Yokel's got himself some slave labor going on over here. Kind of cool that you don't have to sit at it to interact with it to get your health back. Unlike bonfires, ooh, uh, where you do have to sit at it. I assume sitting at that will also reset the enemies. But I don't really care to try right now. See, like that, that glowing statue there, eventually you get a spear you can throw at it and you'll teleport to it. Since this is kind of the starting area of the game, I don't think I ever came back and did that when I was playing Xbox. Anyway, let's look at the map. So this is the starting area. It does go higher, but it goes way down over here also. And there's some places off the map. It's not a massive game. So where are we going for you? We're going across the river. Now I do believe that we can drown. Yokel! Yokel! Damn it, man, where are you? <laughs> nice, you missed.
should I be? I do have to go past it. Hold on. Dang it. Was that you, Yokel? Oh, now you show up. Punk. Hey. Yokel. What the hell, man? Yokel. Oh, there he is. Bataran. Yokel's kind of a flake. Can I get a different guy? I don't know what I just did. Ow. It's the arrows. Up and down. Yeah. Down. I don't know. What is up? What is that doing? Um. Let's talk to this buddy first. To walk alone into Okay, how do I use my lantern? That was a waste. Good job, Zach. Hey, yeah, get a clue. If you ever find ruins like this, I would recommend not to let them stick your hands into some holes. What pray tell? <laughs> Can't have a Dark Souls clone without being able to roll through barrels. Ooh. Yokel, get some health. What are you doing, man? Oh, yeah. Don't you just hate when big old spiders drop off the ceiling and land on you and then spit their shit at you and just Wow. Okay. Don't know why I did that. That was kind of a waste. Hey, Yoko, you want to drop down a one-way hole? Look at that rope. I kind of got a feeling that this is a boss fight, if I remember correctly.
mackerel this guy is. We beat him. Don't you fret. Nice. Ah. It was spider. Oh, it's dead. Oh! It's over here. Have slain Amara. An Elder Dark. You're not getting That is surprising. You have earned the right to see the mother of the Burden Waters, if you wish. Of Gethin, course I wish. This traveler has come to seek your wisdom. You're 
big. The ashen is reborn, and the remaining elder dark will seek its end. How come you have a mouth and I don't? To prevent this doom, you must seek out the heart of Lathyrus. The heart was crafted long ago, when listener and human were united in hope. It captured and focused the light of the Ashen, and allowed them to commune with it. When the Ashen died, human and listener blamed each other. War raged as darkness fell. Matriarch Amiren sundered the heart, and took the listener half to protect her people. If you wish to protect the Ashen from the Elder Dark, you must recover the Broken Heart. To help you in your quest, I give to you this echo. Amara was once Seer of Lathyrus. I bind her to you until the Heart is found. All right, Yokel. I see you hiding behind that rock. Don't know what that is. But I like to grab everything. What was that sound? What's up here? Ew. to Bataran. Stop throwing stuff at me. What did I do to you? Okay, so you can swim a little bit, and then you effing die. Got it. Alright, Batarang, where are you at? Claimed a reward from your battle in the Annex. However, I sense a great darkness. Three Elder Dark once stalked these benighted lands. Now there are but two. I'm sure that Amara will make good use of Okoto's corrupted face. As you can see, 
I have created an anvil upon which to forge the ash. Bring your weapons to the anvil, so that I may reforge them and make them stronger. Alright, well, I believe that will be it for today, for this video. I enjoy this game. It's a more laid-back experience than Dark Souls. The art style is almost peaceful. It's not dark and dismal, although it has these dark areas. But I enjoy it, and I will definitely keep making more videos. But that will be it for this one. Oh, hey, look. Hey, Amara. Let's go say hi to Amara. You know, why not? As the light washes the ugliness from us. You upstairs. cannot fight the shadows without my help. Only... Someone's got an ego. I like her hair. Why are you so much taller than me? Anyway, thank you. Part two, coming soon. Later.